Hello, welcome to the reading room. Mr. V here. Today we're doing a pick a card reading and it's on the teachers. And are they avoiding you? Why? Let's find out. Time stamp down below. Choose your group. Enjoy your reading. And I'll see you there. Hello, group one. So let's find out what's going on here. Mm. Well, so far I'm picking up that uh, you're a ray of sunshine, that they really enjoy you. And that uh, you're overthinking things, you're overanalyzing, and that you're protected or things are well. You have a lot of support and past support and future support. And maybe you should uh, remember that. <laughs> That's what I'm the message I'm get, receiving. Also, um, yeah, you have a lot of ideas, a lot of plans, a lot of things that are going through your mind. And you should uh, sort of like wait and see, you know, wait and see before jumping to conclusions. That's what I'm picking up. So let's find out more. So are they avoiding you? What, you know, why? And what do they expect from you, you know? Let me see. Yeah, it's quite a few message, but you know what? I'm even going to pick another one. Feels like I feel like they belong together. Yeah. Okay. So there's three reasons, three things. That's how I'm picking it up. One is that uh, you're not seeing clear. You're going on your emotions. You're choosing. To close your eyes or you're choosing not to see clear you're choosing to feel stuck not seeing it for what it is so it goes with this card here that you're overthinking it over analyzing it and now it's at a state where that's how it feels here think about it you see how wide open everything is and how good it is and how the opportunities are coming to you and the how the teachers are really feeling about you that you're a ray of sunshine they enjoy you they're constantly giving you compliments and trying to make you feel good and you'll be able to place it and continue in a good way because you're going to feel that you are supported and your supports are there but you just have to wait and see for some reason you'll have your proof that things are okay I hope that wasn't too harsh. I read it as I see it. You know, things are not good right now. So they're, it, they're not really uh, dealing with you in a positive way. They're almost like they are kind of thinking, uh, sort of a little bit fed up. Because uh, they put a lot of thought, a lot of effort into this. They wanted things to go good. And they sort of like got, mm, how, do, how is this going to turn out? But then after that, they decided to try again. So they are trying again. They want you to relax. They want you to stop the thinking so much. You know, your emotions where it belongs. They want you to stop seeing all the negativities. So for them, uh, they want a new start. How you see it is different, but um, you definitely have part in it for sure because you have to see things in a different way. You have, you know, you have that personality that really shines and you're a beautiful person and uh, there's a lot of support for you. So I'm uh, picking up again your thoughts, how you're feeling, how you're seeing things, how you have the, the key to open up what you want, how you want to support your problems, your heavy workload. It's time for you to get going on what you need to do and because you have too much to do and your, your workload is heavy and you have no time to um, think about what the teacher's feeling or or anything that's negative you have no time for that you have to really concentrate on your steps and on your progress and your future and what's ahead and uh, put a light on that so concentrate and focus on that because uh, your work is heavy 
and you are going to keep having a heavy workload for a while, but it's really good. It turns out really good and all your efforts are really good. So it's saying, yeah, it's, it's time for you to get going on your, on your goals and ambitions. So I'm going to pull out a card for you. Oh, there it is. A little message for uh, Food for Thought. It says, take pride in yourself. Well, well, there you go. Let's see what's going on here. Um, we're going to start off with the energy of the reading. And it says that you need to jump into things. You need to get going. Or you do do that and you don't, you don't really pay attention to what could go wrong. Or maybe you need to do that and not really care about what could go wrong. Uh, it has the energy of uh, feeling um, good about yourself, feeling proud about yourself, about your accomplishment, what you're doing, uh, your surroundings. Mm. Not to think and not to uh, stay with uh, the downsides or what went wrong or what could go wrong. Um, that's done and over with. It's time to move on from that. Um, yes, love yourself, love your surroundings, love what you're doing. Have a positive uh feeling instead of a negative feeling things to change up because you need to um, really um, see the good in you are the teacher or the teacher avoiding you why and uh, what are their expectations on that on you Okay, so it seems like things were bad or didn't turn out the way you want it. For sure, you have the tower moment. So something happened and it's done. It's over with, right? But um, yeah, it's complete. Like it's, it went full circle. And now it's, you have a choice. You have a choice uh, to think about what you're going to do about it. Because um, they put it in your hands. They... Um, they're over it. This done for them. They're either done uh, with you, um, trying to make things um, with the problem that's happening. They seem to be done. Like they are avoiding you, I would say for sure. Um, but they're willing to give you a chance. Um, but it's up to you. It depends what you choose or how you're going to be, whether they give you another chance or whether they stop ignoring you. But anyway, things uh, went full circle. And for them, it's a fresh start, new beginning, but it's up to you. They want you to um, sort of like leave this negativity and start enjoying who you are, start enjoying what you're doing, start enjoying uh, what's in your surroundings. They want you to be proud of yourself. They want you to be proud of what you're doing, your accomplishments. They want you to throw yourself in, and not worry so much. So now I'm getting the message from this energy and yeah. So, what, what are they expecting from you then? Well, we sort of, sort of answered, but let's get more into it. Jeez, I feel like they go. Okay. So, they're holding back. They're not going to invest in you or your situation at all right now. They're holding back. But... There's a big but here because they're waiting to see what you do, where you carry yourself and how you go and what are you going to discover? Like, are you ready to learn? If you show them that you're ready to learn, if you show them that you're ready to explore, if you show them that you're ready to um, take the workload and you're ready to do your work, like for them, that's what they're waiting for. They're going to hold back. Their expectation is for you to prove yourself that you're going to be positive again that you're going to love what you're doing that you take interest in what you're doing and interest in um, your life yourself and that will reflect on them whether you know but they're going to wait they're not they're going to, they're a little hard on you for sure and um, that's the way they feel 
So, but you have you have choices. You do. You have a choice, and if you take your choice, the outcome is really good. If you show them that you're interested, or you prove it yourself, your worth, your 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 work, or you're taking interest, they're going to change that up and get, and have a new beginning for you, a new start. You know, they're going to go explore with you. So, um, how do you go about doing that, or should you know something about this, or you know, like what's the next step, kind of thing? Seems like a um, yeah, it seems like it really has to do with your attitude. It's all about attitude. Oh. Yeah. Um, you have this way of uh, not living in reality or not seeing the reality of the situation. So, um, yeah, you, gotta, you, you need to show them that you do have the reality of the situation, that you do know what you're doing, that you are uh, worth it, that you're not going to um, feel negative so much or think negativities or you, you have pride in yourself and you're going to succeed. It, it's not a big effort. It won't take long. It, they're going to switch up just like that. So the outcome is, yeah, if you change that up and you decide to be happy, uh, things are going to flow for you and they're going to be really, really good. 100% um, support and they rush in to support you. They're going to be right there and um, you're going to feel really good about what you're doing. And then things are just going to flow. So I'm going to pull out a card for you, a little message, a food for thought. It says, travel the road seldom taken. Hello, group three. So let's see what's going on here. Let's pick the energies first. Um, bring yourself up. Yeah, you're definitely wound up tight. You just closed right in, but you got some beautiful you that needs to come out. You need to solve that. You need to solve that problem of being held back for some reason. Um, yeah, embrace uh, your situation. Are the teachers avoiding you or are a teacher? And um, what's their expectation? So we have some cards. We have two messages. One is uh, they may not be avoiding you, but they will be avoiding you eventually. So it's on its way. So what you're... Uh, thinking you're starting to manifest it so um it's saying here that um it definitely can be supported because they're getting uh disappointed in the fact that you're rushing into things with and you think you know what you know and um there's more for you to be able to handle so you need to support your thoughts in a better way and that's how they're feeling and it's not that they want to ignore you is that they want you to to have a different way of thinking and a way of acting and um, let's see what else is there what's their expectation to sort of answer that but we'll get more into it well this is really good um here, their expectation is for you to go explore, explore all the possibilities, everything that you wish and want. They want you to put yourself out there, not worry so much. You have so much to offer. They believe in you. They believe in what you have. And they want that out there. They want you to be socially connected um, with your environment, with the, your peers, with teachers. I don't know. I'm picking up that there's uh, so much for you to open up to. And you have so much potential, and that's what they're hoping and wanting for you. Okay, so what should you do about this? Can you do anything about it? Hmm. I feel like this one too. 
So here it says, oh, you're so colorful. You, you have so much to offer. It says here that um, you just have to put yourself out there. Just embrace your decisions. Embrace your success. See the good in you. See the good in, in your surroundings. See the good in, in what you're doing and what you're accomplishing. They just want you to think positive. Just be yourself and put yourself out there. And just live what you have to offer just because you have so much. Like they believe in you full of talent, full of skills. And they just want you to believe in yourself and your skills and put it out there. Believe in yourself. You are a leader. You are someone who's strong, who's, uh, um, we're talking about your studies. We're talking about, uh, your teachers, how they see you. They see you as a leader, a leadership role. They see you that you have so much knowledge. You see that, you know, you can do whatever you want to do. The potential in you is huge. So they believe in you. They want you to believe in you. Little, little food for thought is what I'm pulling out for you. It says, connect to the spirit and the energy of your local landscape. Seek enchantment. 